Hi folks, right, well, here we have um, another one of my armies, this is my Saxon army. Um, it's mainly gripping beast, I think there's a few foundry figures in there, could be a few foundry figures, yeah I think so, uh, nothing much, um, mainly gripping beast, got a unit of uh, light infantry sling there. Now we come across with a unit of light infantry archers and a unit of light infantry javelins. Uh, there we have 24 Huskars. This will be a CNC or a sub general. This is the actual CNC unit I use as a CNC. He's got the, uh, that's the royal standard for the, uh, for Harold, I think, or the one that Gripping Beast make. So that's good enough for me to uh, to be that. Um, mainly axemen, perhaps a few spearmen, but mainly heavy infantry, two-handed cotton weapon. And then over here, we've got another unit. This would be a sub-general. Um, again, two-handed cotton weapon, mainly heavy infantry. Um, yeah. Then we go to the ranks of the mast. Saxon horde of spears and what we've got basically there we've got 48 heavy infantry, heavy infantry spear and we've got another 48 heavy infantry spear we've got a 48 heavy infantry spear but I'm missing two bases I cannot find them anywhere so they've obviously got put into another box but there are another two bases somewhere and then the last unit there are heavy infantry spear 48. So what's that give us? Uh, 200, doesn't it? Virtually 200. Uh, yeah, 96 and 96. And then the rear ranks, we've got 48 medium infantry spear. Uh, 48 medium infantry spear. Another 48 medium infantry spear. And the final 48. It may look sort of boring, but this is great. It's your war. You find someone to beat these guys. These are tough. Uh, the morale grade is nothing special. The Huskars are uh, what we count as B class. Um, the heavy infantry will have usually a front rank of B class, and the second, third, and fourth ranks will be C class. And the medium infantry are all basically C class. You could have the odd D class, I suppose, but um, they tend to be mainly C class. The archers, javelins, and slingers are all C class. Yeah, so uh, quite a massive army. One of the first, uh, biggest armies I painted up in re recent, well, recent years. He says um, these were painted up in the late eighties, I think, early nineties. Um, I've never done anything else with them other than uh, I think I've uh, improved the basing, up the basing on them a bit. I think. Did the the archer unit um, probably 10 15 years ago <coughs> excuse me but, yeah so what are we talking um, uh, we're 200 400 450 sort of 500 pieces ouch I mean I'd like it bigger <laughs> but there you go wouldn't we all but um, and you see on my new battle cloth these do to me look pretty impressive um, standing amongst the fields um, and the uh, the local village. Yeah, well impressed with these I am. Um, yeah, there we go. Shields, all hand painted. Nothing, not nothing special in them. Some quite a few propeller shields where I could. And I think some nice wood shields. The uh, Griffin Bee's doing us a nice wood grain shield. Which is where, where are we looking at? Oh, over here. Yeah, they were nice wood grain shields, nice to paint, easy to paint. Um, and then just lots of propeller shields with shading and a uh, oh, propeller shield there. I tried to, uh, I tried to paint up the, um, the heavy infantry, the, the more wealthier with, with better shields, I was thinking. Um, so we get, uh, like here, we get elaborate shields on a couple of them 
and then over the back we've got just basic shields for most of the medium infantry nothing special on those guys just very plain like that's in there very plain shields the odd propeller the odd two-part shield but uh, mainly plain uh, points value in our game I can't remember I think it's 2,000 between two and three thousand points was getting on for great fun. Fought them several times. I don't think I've actually ever lost with them because usually we'll pit the Vikings against them and the Vikings normally come a cropper. If you keep the Saxons in 48 man units, the Vikings will be in 36 man units and even with an impetuous charge or a charge of the irregular A's, um, the Berserkers, they, they tend to not be able to break 48 man unit of, sh of uh, shield wall of Saxons. So, uh, great fun with these. Great fun. Sort of easy to work. You just stand in there and slowly tramp forward 80 paces at a time. Right. Yep, I thought I'd just show you guys what I've got there. So, that's my uh, Saxon army. Often gets roped in as other things because it's it's just a basic, isn't it? Uh, close order infantry heavy and close order infantry medium. But, uh, yeah, it is a Saxon army. Okay, there we go. Thanks a lot and uh, bye for now.